What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I'd finally like to do my review and test of the crossbow weapon. I'm going to be doing some more reviews and tests on some of the newer weapons that were released somewhat recently. I'm just now getting around to really get into this stuff. And you guys have been asking me, you know, how about the crossbow? So first I want to do a little review of it. I want to take a look at it. Then we're going to um, do some bullet drop on it or bolt drop and uh, find a comparable weapon and see how it lines up there. See, you know, how far can this thing shoot? And then we're going to maybe run a base or do a convoy. We're going to do something with it and see how effective it is in battle. First of all, there's a couple things to note about the crossbow weapon, and that's that it has its own little category here. You know, you got shotgun, sniper rifle, submachine gun, etc. And then the crossbow has its own little thing, and it uses its own ammo. And if we go in here, you can see it, obviously, you know, it only holds one arrow at a time. You can hold 60 of them. Let's see what the fire rate's like. Let's go ahead and check that out. That ain't bad. I mean, considering that's like faster than a bolt action rifle. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it here a couple places. Of course, everyone has access to this now. You should be able to um, go to the store and you can buy it for free. If you're wondering how to get it, that's how I got it. I went to the store and it was completely free. It looks pretty cool, but you can't modify it. So you got to take it as it is. No way to change the paint or anything like that. Let's see how it looks on the character's back when I put it away. All right, it's a little, uh, it's a little big. It sticks out a little bit. Okay, no worries there. Let's go to my range in Via Verde at the airport and let's try a bullet drop on this. And let's see, you know, how far will it shoot? Is it comparable to a pistol or is it more like an assault rifle or a submachine gun? You know, how far will this thing shoot? Let's go find out. All right, so here we are at the runway. I always do my testing at in Via Verde City. Now I figure. Well, let's test this. Let's go to 250. That's where I test my assault rifles from. Let's go to 250. I'm not sure how much range this thing is going to have. I, I'd be impressed if it could shoot 250 meters. I know a lot of you have already used this crossbow. Some people like it. Some people don't. I want to find out for myself. Now, what I've done is I've set up my usual testing scenario here. I have my mark in the same place. I always put it on the wall. And we're going to do this just like I would any other bullet drop test. All right, there we are. We're centered, uh, at least vertically anyway. That's all that matters. All right, so... Well, let's let her fly and see what we get. I'm also curious how loud this thing is, but it's really hard to test noise detection in this game. Sometimes um, you'll run through an entire base and not be detected, and sometimes they'll detect you from normal distance. It's, that one's kind of tricky. All right, so, wow. You can see the hole right there. That's pretty decent from 250 meters because this is the distance that I test assault rifles from. Wow, I didn't expect it to be that accurate over 250 meters. You know what? Let's try it against an assault rifle. Let's try it against... Well, I have an assault rifle right here. Here I have an AUG A3, which is outfitted with the maximum range uh, attachments it can have. As it happens, it just happens to have a long barrel and a rangefinder. And this is the most accurate assault rifle, as it happens. Let's see how it fares. I don't expect it to compare to this at all. This is the most accurate assault rifle with all of the range enhancing abilities on it, but let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, as I figured, the AUG hit one brick higher on the wall. Okay, so let's try it against your average assault rifle. Let's just take an average one because I didn't expect it to compare to that, but it looks like it might actually be able to compare against... Well, let's try, uh, let's try an M4. How about that? How's my M4 set up? Let's check it out. All right, parts. So we got a standard barrel with a rangefinder. This is a pretty average setup. Um, this is the setup I run on my M4. Yeah, so that, that should be fair. This is the usual setup I run on, you know, I run on my M4. So let's see how this uh, compares here, shall we? All right, we're already zoomed in. We're already in single shot, very nice. All right, we're centered right where we should be. Uh, let's see where that hit. This might actually... Wow, look at that. It's more accurate than the M4 with just average parts on it. See, the M4 hit one brick lower. 
Interesting. So this crossbow has quite a bit of range. I, I'm not, I don't mean to compare this up on my assault rifle bullet drop compilation graphic you've seen. I don't intend to do that because, well, it really isn't a class by itself. It's not an assault rifle, but I'm comparing it to one here. Well, let's go ahead and let's put a longer barrel on this. There's no way. Okay, so now this M4 is maxed out for maximum range. Let's just see. I chose the M4 because it's a, it's a very good rifle and it's a very popular rifle. All right, let's see where that hit. Just kind of want to do a little bit of this and then we'll maybe run through a base with it. I do want to test the damage. Okay, the M4 only hit a couple inches above it. You can see where the M4 hit, fully modified right there. So that puts this crossbow basically as a pretty middle of the road, halfway modified, um, or, or a decent halfway modified assault rifle. So I'm really impressed accuracy wise. I really, really am. Let's take a run through this base up here. As long as we're right here, let's take a run through this using nothing but the crossbow. And let's just see how it performs here. Let's just see. I'm not too worried about the difficulty or the HUD being on or anything like that. I just want to give this a little run and see how she performs. Well, of course I got him with one shot because he didn't see me. That was pretty cool, though. All right. Let's see what else we can get. I'm not going to do any marking. I want to see how I can perform with this thing with reflex and follow-up shots if I have to. If someone catches me off guard, can I perform a follow-up shot? Can't, you know, because this does have a pretty slow rate of fire because you got to reload the crossbow every time. Now, we got someone out here. Whoa, how about that? How about that? Whoa, was there a guy in here? Did I just see legs? Nope. Okay. Whew. What do we got out here? Oh, there's a guy over there. Whew. Wow, this thing's pretty dead on. Now, of course, these guys haven't seen me yet. I don't know what it's going to be like alerted. Perhaps we'll find out. Kind of hopefully not. I, I hope to do this as a stealth run. This is definitely a stealth weapon. Okay, so this building is clear. Think it'll destroy a generator? Let's find out. Wow, one shot the generator. Wow, who'd have thought? Well, I was going to shoot the alarm, but I guess that's the alarm out. No worries there. Wow. Okay, you know what? This thing is it's feeling a little bit OP, except for the you know my slow rate of fire with it. So definitely don't miss your first shot. All right, let's head back down here. Let's see if we can take... There's somewhere there's a sniper here. Let's get back down this building, see if we can spot him and take him out before he uh, spots us. Where's he at? There's the alarm over there. There's the sniper. Whew. Damn, guys, this thing is friggin' deadly. For real. Let's go ahead and clear the rest of this base out. We still haven't been spotted. Usually I would have been spotted by now. I tend to be a little reckless. But damn, this thing is accurate. This thing is really accurate. Let's see if we can... Let's hit the alarm just for fun. Yeah, this thing is... This thing shoots straight, man. It, it's, it's like a really damn accurate assault rifle. Unless you take an assault rifle and purposely make it as, you know, as accurate as you can... This is going to beat most of them. This thing appears to be pretty damn quiet and pretty damn deadly. Is that an enemy? No, nope. that's a water bottle. Calm down, Dally. Well, I hear them everywhere. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's get loud. Let's see what happens. Yeah two shots to take that thing down. All right. So now we're alerted. Oh, fuck. And we got a car on fire. And another car on fire. And we're about to get spotted. Okay. Okay. They take multiple shots when they're alerted. <laughs> okay. So that was a bad idea. Um, I put two shots in him. I wanted to see how this worked. You know, alerted. I could have done this completely quietly, but I, I was curious to see. So, where's he at? Ah, oh, shit. There's two of them. All right, we've got to say uh, a heavy here. 
Whoops, why am I using grenades? I'm supposed to be using the crossbow. That's my bad. Reflex. This guy's just peeking his head up here. Okay, well, I took him down in one shot. And he definitely saw me. Woo! Right in the head. Right in the head. Well, if you can quick scope with this thing, if you can pull a shot, you know, if you can pull decent shots, um, you can do pretty good even when you're engaged. Although that one guy did take a few, and I don't know why. Of course, that there was a headshot. Um, maybe the, the other one I was hitting him in his chest. And we're clear. All right, guys, so... Wow, I gotta say, even under loud conditions, this thing performed pretty well. So here's my evaluation of the crossbow. It looks a little funky when you shield on your back. Sure, granted, but it's quiet. It's a great stealth weapon. I was actually getting bored stealthing this base because I had no problems, even with unmarked enemies. It's, so there's something about the sound it makes when it kills them. It's just that, that sound and they're dead and it makes you feel like a real stealth killer. It's really cool. You could do a real cool stealth build with this thing. And even when alerted, there was that one guy who took two shots to the chest and kept coming. Um, everyone else um, I shot while alerted died in one shot. So there's that. So take that with you. Also, um, accuracy-wise, as far as bullet drop goes, it matches a pretty darn good assault rifle. Uh, add to that the fact it has 60 rounds. And a f considering, the reload is pretty quick. Considering. And uh, it uses its own ammo, so you can use it with an assault rifle or with anything else and not worry about draining its ammo. All right, guys, so that's my opinion of the crossbow. My evaluation of it, it's a pretty damn good weapon, and I may just do a stealth build and use this. That's my opinion. It's pretty darn good, if not overpowered in some circumstances. Uh, guys, tell me what you think of the crossbow in the comments below. It was, guys, it's been a real pleasure. I'm Dark Dally, and I will catch you all next time.